Welcome to Introduction to Accounting, Preparing for a User's Perspective, the expanded accounting equation. We've already gone through the accounting equation, that's the basic accounting equation, known as the balance sheet equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, and we showed how to solve for the unknown. You should already be fully familiar with this, you should feel like you totally have that nailed down. What we're going to do now is we're going to break this out into its two sources of equity. You can either contribute equity or the company can earn equity and the owners can choose to keep that equity in the business. It's called retained earnings. So let's get into it. The expanded accounting equation. All we mean by expanded is we're going to take equity and we're going to expand it into its two component pieces. It is the contributed capital, that's the equity that the owners have given directly to the business by contributing it. And then we have retained earnings. These are all the profits that the company has made that have not been paid out to the owners in the form of a dividend. It's the earnings they've retained, the profit they've retained. So the expanded accounting equation is simply saying expand the equity into the contributed equity and the earned equity. Now with that in mind, we're going to do some problems just like last time. We're going to do three problems, but this time Instead of just giving the total equity, I'm only going to give you one piece of this equity and have you solve for the unknown. Okay? So assets. Assets are 50. Liabilities are 20. And we've only given you the contributed capital portion and the retained earnings portion is not yet known. In order to get retained earnings by itself on this one side, we've got to deduct contributed capital and liabilities from both sides. If you do that, 50 minus 25, 25, 0, 0, and therefore retained earnings must be 25. There's your answer. Okay, that's an example of an expanded accounting equation problem. Let's do another one. This one, we've been given assets of 90, contributed capital of 10, We've been given the retained earnings of 40, so total equity is 50. With that in mind, we're going to go ahead and deduct the 10 and 40 from both sides. So this winds up being 0, but we've got to do the same thing to this other side, 10 minus 40. So we take all of our assets and deduct what belongs to the owners, which is $50 worth of equity, and we get 40. Therefore, liabilities must be 40. Doing great. Let's move on. In this case, we've been given assets of 70. Liabilities are 10. We've been given the retained earnings this time, but we don't know how much the owners have contributed. The bottom line is this must add up to $70 in order to keep this balance sheet equation in balance. We're going to go ahead and get contributed capital by itself. So Deduct 10 from both sides. Deduct 15 from both sides. What we get is 70 minus 25, and you get 45. 45. Now, one last thing you should do, once you feel that you've got the right answer, put it back into the original equation. 10 plus 45, that's 55. 65, 70. So, You've proven it out, and you know that contributed capital is 45. So in this case, the owners have contributed much more to the business than has been borrowed. This company does not have a lot of leverage. It's not using liabilities to leverage the resources of the owners. So that was the expanded accounting equation computing ending balances. We'll now take this up another notch.